Hello guys. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to solve one of the practical questions in the IEC 2016 Computer Science uh, Board's paper. And I have this question one in front of me, and I'm going to solve this. So I'm going to take my usual approach. I'm going to read the question first, prepare an outline, and then start with the coding. So question one says, a circular prime is a prime number that remains prime under cyclic shifts of, a dig of its digits. When the leftmost digit is removed and replaced at the end of the remaining string of digits, then the generated number is still prime. The process is repeated until the original number is reached again. A number is said to be prime if it has only two factors one and itself. That we know. Okay. So it is asking us to input a value and check if whether it is a circular prime. Prime. So circular circular prime is like this one three one. And then you take out this one and paste it here, so it becomes three one one. And then you paste this three again back in front of this number. It, be it becomes one one three. So this is how it goes. And uh, all three are prime, so it is a circular prime. And it says accept a positive number n and check whether it's it is a circular prime or not so we need to take input positive number n so the value cannot be less than or equal to zero. First thing the new numbers form after the shifting of digits should also be displayed okay so test to program with the following data and some random number okay. so uh, n is equal to 197 so we have to show if if it is a circular prime so we have to show 197 and then 971 then 719 and then you have to output that 197 is a circular prime and similarly for 1193 and for 29 is not a circular prime so you'll have to do this rotating of the digits anyway and in the end you have to print whether it is a circular prime or not okay so I have an idea about in my mind on how I'm going to start the code and there is only one question that there is only one doubt I have in this question is the limit of the value of n which is input first thing is clear that it's a positive number so that is pretty clear but then how how long what is the limit of the value so i'm assu i'm assuming it it is going to be an integer you can work with long as a long as well so uh, it will give you a uh, larger range so so let us start coding now so and as i tell you that i'll i'll try to keep the input and output in my code as close as possible to the actual input and the actual output so let's start, get started with the code now so okay class circular prime public static void main string args throws exception my main method is done and now I need to start with the code java dot dot asterisk okay so first i'll create a data input stream object to read values from the user so you can create you can use scanner or buffer data whatever you have it dot object data input stream the is system system dot in system dot in okay so the first thing you need to do is read the value of n now it depends upon you whether you want to read it as, read it as a string or a long or an integer so if you read it as a string there is no harm because you'll have to rotate the digits and you'll have to find uh you'll have to rotate the digits and then you'll have to find the new number which is formed by rotating the digits so i'll take the input as a string and i'll prompt n is equals to like this so that my input looks as close as possible to the input given in the question so prompt for the value of n so system dot how dot print n n is equals to and in so I'll take this value as a string and then I'll convert it to integer whenever I'm to check it for a prime. 
so string n is equals to is um, dot read line so my value is in the string and it's not in the numerical form it's as a string I'll I write one helper method uh, method to check if uh, if the value passed is a prime number so static boolean is prime and I'm taking an int you can take log as well so but I assume that the range of the values which are input to this program will not exceed uh, the range of integers and another check you can make is check negative so if integer integer or pass in n is less than equal to 0 print that the input value must be positive number so system dot out dot print ln please enter a positive number so this sample this input is not given in the example input output because there is no value of n which is given as input so but it clearly says that except a positive number n and so I'm going to add a check if the value entered is less than equal to zero and if it is so I'll terminate the program and I use return because return will return the control from the main and after the control is returned from main the program exits you can use system dot exit uh, bracket zeros as well okay so I need to complete this method for checking prime so first of all if n is 1 return false if n is equals to 1 return false because 1 is not prime if n is divisible by 2 return false so this is a faster way of writing to check if a value is a uh, prime or not so you can go with the, your usual way as well there is no harm in that return false so for 2 return true if n is equal to 2 return true because 2 is the only even number which is prime and after 2 all the even numbers are non prime so for 2 you need to return true and for other you need to return false the regular check for int i is equals to 2 it is less than n i plus plus if i divides so there is an optimization also done here for faster calculations to check if n is prime or not but I am going with the usual way because I don't think that will be needed completely done if percent is equal to zero false okay now okay so I have completed my method to check for so let me compile java c isc 2016 was the PST 2016 practice question 1 and it says cannot find DIS okay there is a, there is a uh, okay so it compiles and the code so far is syntactically correct next thing I need to do is rotate and check if it is a prime or not so one thing you notice is that you have to rotate the number and you have to print it out uh, in either case if it is a circular prime or not so first thing you need to do is keep rotating and keep printing and with that keep checking as well if it is a if all those rotated digits are prime or not so to store if it is circular prime boolean is circular prime equals to so I'm going to assume 
it's a true it's a true value because this will stay true only if all the following values uh, are going to be true and the following values will be calculated using a rotating of the digits and then getting a number out of it and then checking if that value is prime or not so the number of rotations we need to make is equal to the length of the number so for three digit number you need to make three rotations for four digit we need to make four rotations that's very clearly visible for two we need to make two rotations so n rotations so for int i is equal to zero n dot ngth and plus plus so what i'm going to do is check the first number convert it into a hand integer so in n equals to integer dot parse in n okay and then you have to update the flag update the a circular prime value so a circular prime is equals to a circular prime and the logical and is is sorry is prime is prime small value okay print the value of n system dot out dot print n capital n okay so what we are doing in this is we are converting the string value which we collect from the input into an integer and we are going to check it check if it is a prime or not so if it is a prime then the is circular prime will value will remain true and if it is false so this will turn into false and for even if the latter values which come after this by the rotation of the digits any of them even if any of them is true this will stay false because one of the rotations ended up being false because it was not a prime okay now we need to rotate so for rotating i do n is equals to n dot sub string i have to ignore the first character and then take the substring so i'll start from the first index and then i will add i will let me take out this character separately n dot cap add add zero okay and n equals to n dot substring plus c so what this will do is c is storing the character at the first position so for the first time c will store one and then what i'm doing is n is equals to n dot substring one plus c so c is already calculated n dot substring one will give me the string excluding the first index so it will give me this so 193 plus 1 which is c will give me 193 that will be stored back to n and i will close the loop so if it is circular prime print yes if is circular prime system dot out dot print ln this value is a circular prime and after all these rotations, n will be back to what it was. So n is a circular prime, else n is not a circular prime. So let me just compile and check if this works. So compiling and Java circular prime. So the value of n we need to enter first is sorry 197. So 197. So 197, 971, and 719. 971 and 799. And the answer is 197 is a circular prime, which is exactly correct. Then 1193, 1193. So 1193. 1931, 1931, 9311, 9311, 9311, 9311, 9311 is a circular. For 29, 29 is not a circular prime. And we can add an extra line between these four values and this, this line which tells you if it is a circular prime or not. So my output is correct. Let me check with a couple of more values. Minus 5, please enter a positive number of 40. 
we get the positive number 2 2 is a circular prime obviously then I enter say another prime which is 73 maybe 73 is a circular prime ok so I do one more thing is add a line before I print this so change line System dot out dot print ln. Okay, so my output is very very similar to what it is. So it shows n equals to one one nine three n equals to one one nine six. So the thing here is, you know, what you need to do is you should obviously know good use of the functions because I did it as a string, right? And then I used simple dot stop string method from the string class to generate the next uh, uh, next value by rotating the first digit and placing it to the last and it's it's a very simple problem and then I have taken a flag which takes if it is prime I assume it is true and it will stay true only if all the values that are calculated by rotating the first digit to the last is prime so this was the question I hope this was helpful and you did uh, you did learn something new out of it and even if you remove all this this is unnecessary because I thought I'll add the optimized algorithm here but then uh, I guess I'll go with the standard one so this was the solution and I hope this was helpful please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such problems